Hi there, I'm Paul Mitchell, leadership coach, author, and founder of The Human Enterprise. And welcome to our last episode, episode five of Leading in Lockdown. This one is called The Stockdale Paradox, uh, which you may have heard of. It was made famous in a, a very good leadership book written quite a few years ago, but still with some great lessons um, by Jim Collins, a book called Good to Great. But let's just do a bit of a quick review. In past episodes, we've talked about grief, different types of grief. We've talked about the cycle of grief. We've talked about how people repress emotions through grief. We've talked about how to make meaning from the pandemic. But with this one, I want to leave you with some very, very wise words or uh, a wise way of thinking about uh, trauma and thinking about crisis, thinking about how do you, how do you still maintain faith and yet at the same time face reality. And that's exactly what a naval officer um, called James Stockdale did, hence the Stockdale paradox. He was a prisoner of war for seven years in the Vietnam War, and yet himself and a lot of his men survived that more so than the other prisoner of war camps. And they wondered why. And the reason that the researchers came up with, because uh, it was, well, rather, it was because of the way he really faced into the reality of what was happening and yet never lost hope. And that's called the Stockdale Paradox. Let's look at that. Let's unpack it a bit more. So the paradox comes because what Stockdale did was he really faced the reality. He talked about the reality of the horror that they were in. He talked about that with, with his men, about how horrific it was. And, and it is an and, not an or, and he balanced that with uh, 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 the realm of hope, the realm of faith. So he faced it and he had faith. He admitted to the horror and yet he still had hope. And that's where the paradox comes in. Because what you'll find in these times, if we're not careful, we go into one camp or the other. We're very pessimistic about what might happen. We're pessimistic about the world economy. We're pessimistic about the uh, the horror and the deaths that might occur. Or we can be totally optimistic. It'll be okay. It'll be over in a month. Don't worry about it. We'll pull through okay. Again, what Stockdale did, he faced the reality and never gave up hope. So this is a cautionary tale. It is so important to be optimistic. But if we're just rah, 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 we're going to be okay, uh, that's very, very dangerous. If we say things like, oh, we can't afford the luxury of a negative thought, that's very, very dangerous. We really have to face up to what's going on. It was interesting, Stockdale expands and he says that um, what happened was some commanding officers would say, hey, we'll be out by Christmas. We'll be out of the prison or war camp by Christmas. Christmas came, they weren't out. We'll be out by fall. Fall came, they weren't out. We'll be out by Easter. Easter came and they weren't out and they lost hope. And then they basically lost the will to die, the will to live rather, and they died. There are other 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 leaders and other approaches that just said, this is horrific, it's bad, we're never going to get out of here. Yeah, very, very realistic, but that's all they did. And their souls, their will to live also faded away and they died as, as well. The point I'm trying to say is, and this was linking back to you as a leader, are you facing the reality of what's happening and at the same time, giving your people hope. Are you facing the reality that you may have to continue to lead virtually like this for many, many months, and at the same time, talking about how much better we can be in the future, how much closer to clients we can be, how much better we'll be with the use of technology, facing it and having faith. So what does this mean to you? How do you face reality? Well, the reality is that you could lose your job. You could run out of cash. This could go on for much longer than six months. Face into that reality, put plans in place, and at the same time, don't lose faith, don't lose hope. And talk about, hey, we'll get through this together as a family. We may be so much better uh, managing technology in regard to the way we work virtually. We may not have the cost of commercial property. Um, we may be more connected than we ever were before. Once again, reality and this optimism, the balance of two. Pragmatic optimism, I think it's often called. 
So the takeaway here is very clear. It's the paradox itself. And you have to ask yourself, are you applying this paradox in your business life or how could you? Are you applying it in your personal life and how could you? So this is the, the last episode in this series leading in lockdown. Um, I totally realize you've been inundated with all sorts of information about what you should do and what you shouldn't do. What we try to do in this series is, is, is look at the pandemic through a leadership lens and, and through a fairly strong psychological uh, lens as well. So I hope it's helped you, I hope it's helped your family, I hope it's helped colleagues, and I hope it's helped you connect in some way uh, with a bigger community. And although we've called it leading in lockdown, it really should be leading through lockdown. Because you know what, we will get through this. We don't know how long, but we will get through this. And I can promise you, if you start to take on that leadership mindset that we've talked about right through the series, you'll be a better leader, but more important, a better person. I hope you're well, find the passion, develop the skills, make the numbers, make a difference, and most importantly, keep safe. Thank you.